what is going on everybody we're back on it vagabond 135 through 139 it seems we're not the only one confused on kind of like this flashback within a flashback but i think it's happening at the same time that everything's happening with Takezo. i don't know taquan is like the only he's like the source factor connecting where i think we're at timeline wise because i thought it was a flashback within a flashback with you know shishido biking quote unquote dying um he was thinking of something and then within that flashback we got another flashback but then taquan showing up clearly wouldn't be his current age in a flashback of a flashback he seems like it is what we as the viewer kind of know him to be within like the last five years so i think this is happening at the same time that we're kind of doing our you know school hopping fighting masters and all those type of things um We'll see, do we run into and end up fighting this kid at some point? I have absolutely no idea. Let's see what we got. Hopefully the sun can stay up long enough so we have some light here. But let's go over here. Let's press play on that. Turn it down in my ears because I'm about to lose hearing. Whoa, that was loud. All right, cool, cool, cool. Bop, bop, bop. Here, here, here. We are recording. Mic is on. All right, let's see what we got. I can't take it anymore. Our catch of fish is smaller than it usually is. We don't have as much to offer to Master Fudo. We got to eat too, right? Uh, my father apologized to him. He asked for mercy for this year's meager offering and Fudo chopped his arm off. Chopped off his arm. Damn him, he's not our master. He doesn't protect us. Lower your voice. Kosuke, you were still a child. So you don't remember, without Master Fudo, this village would have been ravaged. Those bandits would have destroyed everything. And he cut them down all by himself. He was the village's savior. Bear with him. So I should sit back after he's cut off my father's arm? I'll kill him. If no one else will, then it's up to me. Kazuki, if he hears you, then it won't just be an arm you'll lose. Kiyosaku, your daughter just had a birthday, right? You have to offer her to Master Fudo now that she's 14. Can you accept that? Can't be helped, he says. He may have once been a savior of this village, but now Master Fudo is just a parasite. That happened over 10 years ago. We've paid him back. True. We've got capable men that can, like, fight and protect, right? We're probably going to end up needing some light. There you go. That'll be better. Enough is enough. But Kosuke, an amateur swordsman like you would be no match against him. After all, he's formidable to call himself a servant of the martial arts. Well, why don't you go ask the little kid down there, the deaf one? <laughs> then who can? I have a plan. These two? You're just going to throw that? Like, what, what do we get in return? We're out of food. I'm exhausted. Slowly, slowly. Yeah. These are the same kids that like we grew up with the same age, right? Or are all these kids just pieces of shit? You're dirtying up the sea, go away. And if I kill and if I kill these kids, then I'm the bad guy, right? If I just turn around and take these kids out, I'm the bad guy. Or are these all the kids? Because I think we're older than this flashback is, right? And he can't hear them, so he's no idea what's up, what they're saying. All these kids, right? They're the grown. Are some of them the grown kids, grown men, half men, talking about what are we gonna do to say that y'all gonna come run to us now or what? Yeah. He thinks they're playing, but he has no idea because he's deaf. And they just run away. Well. And now we're the ones getting beat up. Uh, run away. I knew he wasn't so tough. Who spread that rumor anyway? You were just scared because he's bigger than you. Was not. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> And he came in like a missile, ready to take these kids out. Oh, oh God. 
You can't even hear. Yeah? You can still get this work. It's not like we have much food to spare. Our kids are getting bigger. And it might not have much to do with you, but this village is in big trouble on account of Master Fudo. We can't really afford to help out anyone. <sighs> oh, I'm sorry. Girl. Who's that? My oldest girl, Orin. Oh, he's the one that's... She's the one that's going to be offered up, huh? Amazing how quickly they grow up. She smelled so nice. Didn't come up with any solutions last night. Wouldn't have no worries if she just stayed a child. Jaquan, is that you? No. What do you want? We live so close, and yet this is our first meeting. Like, we, everyone wants to come begging for help, like, in times of need. But where are you guys when we're out here, like, starving on the edge of town and shit, you know? Who are you? Old man, if you're feeling frisky and want to test if we still got the juice, why don't you go fight him? Well, all right. Chapter 136. So there's a sword in that cane? Did you make that yourself? What do you want from me? Hey, what are you doing? Who the hell are you, old man? I haven't done anything to you. I want to test your skill. Wait, what are you doing, old man? We didn't actually just get stabbed. Like, oh. Bro, you, t you get a, a wound like that in these time periods, living out where they live, you just die from infection, by the way. <laughs> but all I could do was step back. I could grab a rock and toss it, or throw this bag at him. Or I could run into the woods and use the trees as cover. All these moves occur to me at once. My instincts have gotten rusty. What the hell are you doing, old man? Guys, we're not built for this. Please stop. Alright, we quickly disarmed him. We didn't... Oh, we didn't, like, slice his head off, right? Oh, okay. Okay, no, we didn't. I thought we disarmed and... Oof. That would have been rough. <laughs> Magnificent. Please, you must save our village. You think that's enough? What I just showed is enough? I'm already weakened in one hand now, too, because of you. Hey, what are you guys doing? Hey? Oh, Jesus Christ. Now there's some bigger kids that are going to want to run it. Kamakichi, he's beating us up. Fluff that guy. That hurt. I told you to call me Tenki. I trained myself chopping the tall grass of Shimpo Village. Like a demon descended from the heavens. I started calling myself that yesterday, remember? Yep, it's a good name, that's right. The sword, I'm devoting my life to the sword. Another one. I guess that was the thing to do in the day. Hey, what are you guys kneeling in front of the crazy old Coots kid? You want to have some fun? No, I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't. He's scared. Good going. I told you to call me Tenki, you idiot. Would he go pick up his... Oh, shit. He's coming back with like an actual stick, right? And not like the bl the sword that old man hid. Okay, I think it's just a stick. Okay, good. That's his like training stick. He's gonna dust this kid. By the way, all he, I mean he's he's about that Spartan. Like he loves it. Hey, that stick's too long for you. Yeah, until you get this work. No warning, you bastard. Now you get a taste of Tenki's sword. This will be good. <laughs> like, we're enjoying this as, like, a good little, like, sparring thing. But then he said, did you want to have some fun? So I don't... Don't get all angry with us now. What's that, Elder? How is that old coot going to kill... That's what I'm saying. We're not in our prime. You don't believe that sign he put up, do you? He's lying about all that. Silence. As long as he succeeds. No, even if he fails. 
We're not involved. We'll just wait for our next... <laughs> Glad you're so concerned. If they cut each other down, that's fine too. Appreciate it. And then what do we get if we succeed, by the way? How can you swing a long pole like that? You're built skinny like a twig? I surrender, I surrender. Hey, didn't you hear what I said? Oh, that's right, you can't hear. Stop, someone stop. Okay, maybe he's not gonna like, just like, he's not gonna kill this kid, right? Don't tell anyone about this, got it? <laughs> now go home, all of you. He's gonna, he's gonna be like, hey, teach me. Hey, what's your name? I can't keep calling you the freak's kid. You can't hear me. What's your name? What's your name? I'm hoping that this is going to be like an actual friendship here. And not just like him wanting to stab us in the back because we gave him that work in front of everybody. And like he's actually interested in like forming a relationship. Because that would suck. What do you think? It's a good name, huh? Right? You got me good. Will you be my master? Really? I want to become strong as quickly as I can. Pedro, please, let me be your disciple. Oh, brother. This is all happening so fast. Ooh, we get the classic watercolors. Listen up, everyone. This guy's name is Kajuro, got it? <laughs> if you insult him, then you're insulting me, understand? I doubt any of you could challenge someone that even I can't beat. Okay, maybe we get some friends? I don't know why he looked so much older in like the previous, like right before, what was it, chapter 134, 133? The kid looked so much older that it looked like we flashed back within the flashback. Um, but I guess this is currently him. I mean, this is going to be the thumbnail 100%. Just get that out the way now. Why did I agree to it? Yeah, what did he, what did they promise you? You didn't just say like, hey, can you fight first? And you just said, okay, well, like, the, what was what was the return? Won't you save our village? I am the village elder. I apologize for putting your sword's manship to the test in such a manner. I just had to find out how strong you really are. Come, let's treat that wound and discuss the matter further. Have you heard of him? No, I haven't, but there are plenty of formidable men whose names remain unknown. Just like you. May I have some hot water? Eh? Okay. This shall be your reward. Well, you know I'm gonna need half up front, half after. Because I don't want to go do this, and then you guys just, like, skirt, skirt, you know? Or come try to kill me, at least. At least let me have the money on me. I can give it to the kid if something happens, you know? You must save our village. Well, that'll get you out of that 4x4 four four shack, that's for sure. What kind of swordsman is he? It doesn't matter. I'm in no condition to fight anymore. <laughs> Well, you don't dare let the kid do it, do you? Surely not. Even though I'm his disciple, I'm not doing anything. Hey, Kajuro, aren't we going to train? He can't even hear me. Jeez, this thing's so heavy. How could he swing this log around? He's amazing. To be like him, I have to train like him. Hey, come on, let's do some training. Bro, you just got to get out there and just start going day after day. What is he, a fish? This is heavy. I told him to wait for me while I was relieving myself. It's all because he can't hear. Now where'd he run off to? Have you seen Kajuro? He was just here a minute ago. He went that way. Hey, what's all this attention you're getting? <laughs> hey, kids out there living the dream. You've got bean paste on your chin? Damn, I want some dumplings too. Why are you so popular with the ladies? <laughs> Father, this is Juro. He's stronger than me. Oh, wow. His dad's sick. Yeah. Oh! He's the one that got his arm cut off. You want to know why I want to be your disciple and become stronger? I'll tell you why. Now we know. So I can cut down. Yeah. 
He's the man who chopped off my father's arm. You're supposed to be working. What the hell are you doing? Hey, you're too old. Hey, you're that Coots kid. Can't you see how our father's suffering? How can you be playing around with that kid? No, Gosuke. You don't understand. I'm going to avenge father. Don't you dare tell anyone I cried. Bro, he can't even speak and or hear you. Is this the paper I wrote on? Could you spare some food? No, go away. Get out of here. Appreciate it. <laughs> what nerve. The first time he talks to us and he begs us for food, how pitiful. That's right, what about the mighty school of his? He's a fraud. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, okay, guys, rub it in. We get it. And the thing is, like, he sees them laughing and smiling, and he's, he's going to interpret things that, like, aren't interpreted that way, as we've already seen with the other kids. Come on, let's go. Kadro's out late. He's hardly ever home these days. He's already nine years old. Every day he's grown up just a little bit. All right, they're actually sparring a little bit. Okay, nice. I was hoping, I was hoping the other kid was getting something out of it, you know? All right, they're out there throwing. He was so cute when he was three or four. Couldn't do a thing without me. It was hard work, still is. Don't know how good job, how good of a job I'm doing as a fa as his father though. I lived by the sword and I was broken by the sword. I was nearly a zombie who could have known I'd spend my twilight years like this. That I'd be blessed with a child. You're a gift from the heavens, no, from the sea. I'd do anything for you. I have a feeling this old man's gonna die, and what is that gonna do to the kid? Who lives by the sword no longer exist? Now you're everything to me? I'll even beg if I have to? I won't do it. Too bad for the elder, but I just won't do it. I'll help you in the fields, as soon as my wounds have healed. How about joining us for dinner? Come old man, I mean sensei. Eh? What? Uh oh, redemption arc. Can you match them, make them into rice balls? I guess it's too loud here. You can't relax and eat. Quiet down, we've got company. Y'all have got so many piece of shit kids. <laughs> Why did they keep just having I guess back then, it really wasn't a like contraceptive methods, you know? They're just spitting them out. I'll take some back for Kajuro. I feel bad about this. We're asking you to do this on your own. No one else in this village can take on Ma take on Master Fudo. Please help us, old man. No, I meant to say sensei. No, I'm not going to do it. For the last 10 years, when a girl turns 14, she's sent to food. Whoa. So it wasn't just like one girl's been promised to him. They've been sending every teenage girl that hits that age to him. Jesus. How many does he need? Sometimes the ones that aren't attractive are turned away. But that's cruel in a different way. We worked so hard to raise her. She's caring. She's such a good kid. And I may be biased as her father, but I think she's beautiful. Orin turns 14 this year. If only I knew how to wield a sword, but I'm just a peasant who knows only about the fields. I'm praying for your success. <laughs> no pressure, guys. No pressure at all. Is this him? Who's this piece of shit? Ah, oh, fuck. At first I thought it was the kid. Um, This shot here. Because we've kind of seen him shirtless walking around and stuff before. Bro, I thought like, okay, maybe we'd have a little bit of time to train her. We haven't done shit. Oh, God. So this is Fudo. Okay. He's here to take Orin. Well, <laughs> um, guess it's now or never, right? My daughter, she's not here. 
Can I do it? Can I cut this man down? Do you are you do you are you even strapped at the moment? I oh, got damn, where's the sword at? Can I? Well, there's a weakness if you can get that spot, I guess. This is awkward. <laughs> Sensei? What? Hey, Pa, he stopped breathing. Did he just faint? Maybe, uh... Kurjuro just, like... Oh. He's gonna smell her because in a couple other... Uh, two or so chapters ago, the old man was like... She smells good. I'm sure he smells it. Maybe Kajuro will cut her, cut him down. I don't know with what, with our wooden stick. Phew, I thought you were gonna die. It's no use. He's hopeless. Hey, I'm going to look for Orin. All right, be careful. I realize now how impossible this is for you. Here, this will calm you down. I'll kill him tonight. Tonight, I'll cut down. I'll cut Fudo down tonight. If he's feeling motivated, might as well give it a shot, right? I just don't see how it gets done. Taking away your child, that's... Yeah, that hit a heartstring for him. I feel like these soundtracks are, like, hitting right now. Perfectly at perfect moments. I don't know how YouTube keeps doing that. Uh, let him get drunk enough, I guess. I can't get drunk. Don't be reckless. It was a stupid request. You've always been an outsider here. That's why the village decided to ask you. That's why we ask you to do it on your own. But really, it's our own problem. Right now, Kudro is everything to me. So I understand. I know how you feel. I won't let your daughter be taken. Thanks, but you can't really do anything. You saw Fudo. He only glared at you and you nearly stopped breathing for good. Don't throw away your life. The Elder and the other villagers don't seem to care, but we... We go way back ever since my wife first nursed Kajuro. You kept abandoning Kajuro on the doorsteps over and over again. I spent most of my life obsessed with the sword. I'll see to it that we cut each other down. You see, I've dedicated most of my life to the sword. I was obsessed with it. How to defeat others. And once I was at the top, I needed to stay there. How to knock down, how to knock down all the challengers. That's all I thought about. Now my sword's rusted and my spirit's withered, but I'll make sure we can, I'll make sure we cut each other down. I mean, he was analyzing that spot on his back. If that means anything. Please take care of Kajuro. Take him into your family. Bro, you just sat here and went on that monologue about like, he's the greatest thing that's happened to you. Like being a father, you know, him coming into your life and you're just going to give that up for someone else's sake. They don't even like you. I feel like I just heard you speak for the first time. Well. Yeah, throw up real quick. Get the nerves up out of you. Sharpen that up a bit. Do you remember you always stopped crying as soon as you touched this sword? You probably don't remember you always went to bed hugging this long sword. And it's rare because like I don't feel like we've really seen them be affectionate that much. Like he's tried to be in a, he's tried to be affectionate to him, but the kid is deaf, so it's like trying to interpret that affection back and you probably don't remember. I'm giving this back to you. We're just we're not even gonna see him? Where is he? Oh man. Last chapter. I don't know if we get it this chapter, but we'll see. Butterfly. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We gotta make sure. Make sure the soundtrack's going just in case shit goes down here. Where'd he go, Kajuro? He always just runs off and disappears. Where's his sense of camaraderie? Is, are we in nighttime right now? Can't tell if this is all the same day. After all, tonight's the night of our attack. Oh, the girl. Why do I have to go to him? What's he going to do to me? No, I won't go. So what if he's strong? Why won't the villagers fight him? So many girls have been taken away by him. I won't. Do it, I won't go. 
They should fight him. Someone should fight him. I won't go. I won't. The butterfly. If this old man dies, this kid's like innocence and shit might be shot. <laughs> Kajuro. I mean, there's no way this little nine, there's no way this nine year old kid actually fights. So let me just get that idea out of my head right now. And everybody knows he's deaf, right? Where's he going? He just like strong armed her out the way. Where's he going now? There you are, hey. Tonight's the night. We'll attack when he's sluggish right after he eats. Maybe we'll, he'll even get drunk. We'll wait a little while longer. Does he, I was about to say, does he even know what you're planning or talking about? Are you sure it's all right? I know you guys don't have a lot. Oh, shit. And there's a note. He can read, I know that much. I think. Whoa, look at this long sword. It's incredible. I've never seen such a long sword. Whose is it? Is it your paws? He's remembering it. Man, he might actually... The old man might actually be going to die. Amazing. It's so long. How can he even handle it? With that long sword, we could win. <laughs> We're going to do it. We'll do what the others are all scared, are all too scared to do. We're going to kill food. I don't even know if he is registering anything he's been saying. Read that note. A letter, what's it say? Thank you. That's it? So they don't see each other. There's not an exchange of anything. And the only words is in there is thank you. I mean, it hits a lot because we know if you're like what he's thanking him for, but like, does he know? No. I gathered all the men. What is that you request of us? This is a lot to put on him. A lot. This is ridiculous, by the way. I've accepted your elder's request. I'll kill Fudo. Tonight. So what do you ask of us? Honestly, if he's not even skilled enough to do it, he's just got to pull a classic Guts, pull a classic Takezo. Leave yourself open enough that he has to take the bait. But it, you're so open that, like, I'm going to trade with you. And the trade is going to, like, kill us both. I know I can't sit there and ta 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 back and forth. You know? We're not going crazy sword fight. Um, But we will trade blows, and the blows will be enough to kill us both. And honestly, even if, like, the, it isn't enough, if the men just know to be in the area, and it's even if you weaken him, uh, what do we got here? How many... One, two, three, four, five. I'd hope five grown men could bum rush the weakened Fudo and finish the job. I would hope. I would hope. If I die before I can finish Fudo off, I want you all to deliver the final blow together. Correct, 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 correct. I'll have died in vain if he isn't finished. Hide in the woods with your weapons until Fudo and I. Yes, 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 yes. Correct, 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 correct. I don't know. All right. <laughs> he said, all right. I'll do it. You have my word. Mine too. Then it's decided, everyone. As he said, we'll hide in the woods, gather your weapons. Hopefully they don't do some shit and like give it away. If Fudo doesn't fall, we'll just continue hiding. And tomorrow we'll act as if nothing happened. He's a real piece of shit, by the way. I'll set out in half an hour. A half an hour, right? We don't really have any weapons. What they make do with? I was about to say, y'all got some pitchforks or some shovels or anything? Yeah, he's gonna start pissing down his legs soon. I'm so scared, my body's frozen stiff. I can't lift my arms. <laughs> Bro, you've got to at least be able to trade with him. So, like, you get it together here a little bit, because he knows he's gonna die. It's not like okay, I'm going into a battle. He's already conceded that he's going to die while doing this. It's a lot to kind of like get up for. It hurts. I can't hold my sword. On second thought. Yeah, it was your fault. Alright. It's time to go. 
Yeah, this doesn't look great. That's all I'm gonna say. It does not look great, but I thought this was a great shot here. I don't know if we'll be able to get both of them in frame. Yeah, that's probably the best it's gonna get. We'll see. I think it's a real shit the way that they kind of like shun him. And then we're just randomly gonna run to him. To like, hey, can you give your life to hopefully take this guy out for this little bag of money that he doesn't even know if he's gonna get? We don't even know if they'll treat his son right. We see the the village, at least the boys, pick on the deaf kid. That's a lot to just like ride or die and agree to do. So hats off to him. He's a real one, I guess. Wouldn't be me. I hate that that's how the two of them are going to be separated, but we'll see. We will leave it there. See, Maybe he lives, right? <laughs> Maybe he lives, though. You never know. We'll see. Appreciate it, everybody. Like, share, favorite, subscribe, and as always...